It's me again. Welcome back to Let's Play Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. And as you might remember, we are here at this creepy cave room thing at the wharf. And God, you're so needy, Watson. He still follows me everywhere like a lost puppy dog. Uh. What? The F. Holy moly. Whoa. This is like, what the fuck? This is like epic cave drawings, but with the... Uh... Oh. What did they use to make blood? It looks like blood. Alright, so I don't know what we're trying to find. What the fuck? What a horror. Indeed. You know, I did play this game before, but like I said, I haven't played it in quite a while and I do not remember this. Man this fought hard before his tragic end. The dreadful-looking broken statuette reveals much about his terrible struggle. I'd say the uh, cut-open chest and sawed-off leg probably tells more about his struggle, but uh, hey, you know, potato, potato. This man was bound with rope shortly before his death. I'm guessing this is Amos Colby, because his little passport page was there. This man's right index finger is coated with dust. Just clicking on everything to try to... This man's right index f Is that it? Alright. So he liked to dust. This message is engraved in some language unknown to me. I must make a copy of this message before the police arrive. A herd of buffalo could not leave a greater mess than the local constabulary. Oh, burn! Hey there, Cthulhu. You looking all crouchy and hungry. Oh man, sick. Let's see, there's some cuts on his fingers and... Oh. This man has a small wound on his left thumb. He must have drawn that strange figure in blood on the torn passport page. Yep, just as I thought. This has to be Amos Colby. Poor fella. This message is engraved. I must make a copy. Oh, you're repeating yourself, Sherlock. Well, let's look around for st The left right. sleeve of this costume bears slight traces of blood, and here, the pocket is pierced. Aha! There appear to be papers inside. Papers! Northwood Agency. And the manner... What? Any manner of discreet investigations. Why is that all one word? For you, we shall search the world. I should hope so. And it's located in Boston, Massachusetts, which further shows that, yes, that was indeed Amos Colby. And he seemed to have been a private eye looking for somebody. Probably that kidnapped Maori. Well, what am I looking for? What am I looking for, Holmes? You tell me. Oh. A box full of pendants in the shape of a pelican. These are brothers to the one found at the Nepali's house. Quite useless. These trinkets are nothing but charming decoys. Uh huh. Fake, just like the one at the Nepali's house. They ripped off a lot of people. Hmm, that smell. This water contains a strong opiate. Oh. Try to contain yourself from drinking it all, Sherlock. I know you got Metal drug boxes, problems. And here is one that still bears a label. It is in the shape of a flower, which appears to be Edelweiss, and it is black. How remarkable. They are not common. I must take the contents of this box to Baker Street for a more thorough analysis. Indeed. Opiate, beyond all doubt. You are right. This is definitely an opiate. Holmes, could these villains be opium smugglers? Uh, I know they're smuggling people. 
that's pretty bad. Well, am I done here? What am I doing? Well, this message is engraved in some. I have to copy this, this down message. somehow, so maybe I can. This message is engraved. Ah. I must make a copy of this. All right, message. I get it. Items it. This message is in. I must make a copy All of. Right, shut up. There we go. Okay. So how do I copy it? Cthulhu, attack. I need something. I need something. What do I need? I don't have a pen. Uh, I don't have anything. What do I do? Oh. What a peculiar something. drawing. I found a strange drawing scrawled into the dust on the floor of the secret room located in warehouse 12. It appears to be a rectangle containing a cross. Oh. Okay. I don't know what that has to do with anything. But how is that going to help me? I need to copy something down. Why are you not giving me something to draw with? Oh, there we this go. This should prove useful. I didn't know I could pick that up before. To hells. Sweet. Excellent. A perfect copy of those symbols. Bravo, Holmes. This unfortunate man must have interrupted the kidnappers while they were transferring their victims. What are you speaking about? All of the kidnapped people were kept here and from the look of things for some days. There must have been a good number of them, so they were drugged to keep them docile. Then, with the vile assistance of riffraff hired by Dirty Summers, they loaded these people into the missing cases from the warehouse. Last night, these poor unfortunates were loaded onto a waiting ship. Their destination as yet unknown. Oh my god! Holmes! Look! We were just there! What? Game. You're up to shenanigans, game. Oh no. Oh, what is it? Is it a boss? I don't think there are bosses in this game. Uh, uh, oh! Oh, gnarly. Oh. Oh, I think I saw porn like this once. It was not pretty. Let's leave this place, Watson. We can do nothing here. In the light of my discoveries, I have come to the following conclusions. The kidnapped people were held here for several days. There was a significant number of them. Therefore, the opiate mixture, opium and morphine, god, that's crazy, was applied, which rendered them docile and easy to control. These same people were then, okay, blah, 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 what he already said. Dang! That was messed See that up. this is delivered to Mr. Holmes at the Diogenes Club as quickly as possible. Do not leave without his reply. Though such insistence will undoubtedly cause Mycroft some distress. What Mycroft the devil are you doing, Holmes? I am sending a letter to my dear brother and including a reference to the strange markings I found on the temple stones. Perhaps he can make something of them. Watson, I must know what was in the metal boxes that we found in this strange temple. Drugs! Of course I want to know where there's some drugs hidden because I'm Sherlock Holmes and I love drugs. So we're going to take this. Nothing. And uh, I guess I have to combine stuff now. Combine this with this to get a white powder. I wonder what that is. And there. Ooh. Stuff. And there. It is done. This is a very fine powder. Damn, that's a fine powder. I guess uh, there's nothing I can do with it now, so I'm going to take this and put it in Perhaps here. if I apply heat? And I'm going to take this and smoke me a fat bowl of opium. That smell. 
undoubtedly a derivative of opium and morphine. This is the same compound on the ball found at Stenick's place. Damn. How goes it, Holmes? What is the result of your analysis? Without question, this is clearly a derivative of opiates. Something still troubles me, though. The facts indicate this substance must have been used in large quantities. But no English druggist could provide such an amount. Far too risky. And I do not believe British customs would allow such a large quantity to pass through unremarked. Well, I am convinced of quite the opposite, Holmes. How can that be, Watson? Explain your reasoning. Please remember that, as a doctor, I am accustomed to the use of various compounds, including powerful derivatives such as distilled opiates. Those imported from the continent enjoy a special status with British customs, who do not bother the shipments and take little note of the quantities inside. Such shipments are easily identified by their labels. They always bear the identifying mark of the particular medical academy within that country which has an agreement with our own governing academy. Though I can't determine the precise country of origin, I would swear the label scrap left on this crate is one such as this. Doctor, I will never get to the end of your possibilities. You have solved this little riddle for us. Quickly, and waste no time, we must get ourselves to the custom inspector's office at the harbour. What? Now? Can't it wait for our tea? Oh, coming, Holmes. Oh, come on. Watson's not that whiny, is he? Where are we going? I guess we're going back to the wharf because there's nowhere to go here in Baker Street. Wow. So, you're more than just a doggy. Let us find the answers to our questions. Sir, did you find what you were looking for? Yes, and no. Tell me, where can I find the customs agent? The man's name is Beddoes, and at this time of day, you'll likely find him on the pier near a ship. Thank you. You have been most helpful. Pleasure to be of service, sir. Oh, right. I totally missed that because I was actually texting. But, uh, I have a feeling I go somewhere this way. Wait, hold on. Uh. Im. Da, da, da. Man's name is Beddoes. At the time of the day, he'll finally appear near a ship. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah, customs. Okay, I remember that. It's this way. I wish I could jump in this game because I want to jump around. Jump, jump, jump around. While I'm here, are you... Oh. Oh, oh they're out for the day. They're like the... Why are they the only people who live here? I don't get it. So random. Okay, now I can pick this up. O'Reilly, the child came and said that Sandra was giving birth and that she claims me to be the father. The boat is clear. You will easily find the registers not far away. Philo. Let Philo. us hope that these registers contain what we need. They must be here somewhere. Could it be in this book that says registers on it? Aha, these must be the registers. This one concerns special imports. Hmm... Nothing definite or comprehensible here. All that they mention is that these goods were stored in Warehouse 16. I see nothing further of interest here. Best to leave these ledgers as we found them. Okay, so I don't know. What was that? Hold on. Dialogue is a uh, Documents? Uh, reports? Uh, I guess there's nothing else to do here. Or no, maybe I have to talk to that guy again. Again, sorry for not paying attention. I Every time I start a Let's Play, someone wants to text me, so. I want to, hold on a second. Let me see if I can actually, wait. Where's my map? There it is. 
Oh, I could teleport this whole time. Oh, I'm a dumbass. Waste of time. Have you found anything of importance, sir? Uh, uh that's why I came to I you. I have no reason to go there. I want something of importance. I want to find it. I need to know. Where the fuck do I go? Hold up. The that... iron boxes were stored here. A careful search of the place might reveal some valuable evidence. I was going to say, Sherlock, these home, these footprints are, were not here before. You didn't even notice them, but I did. I did. I see no way of opening this door. Filthy tar, my shoes are thick with it. Because you're stepping in these footprints that I found. Hold on, Watson. These traces have much to tell us. Regard how they resemble those nearby. Indeed. How about this key? Can I pick up this key? How about now? There we go, yeah. I don't see anything of significance. You are wasting my time. Unless I can measure these. The size is undoubtedly seven. The shoes. The shoes are also hard soled. Indeed, that is good to know. Well, I'm following these danged footsteps. Getting tar all over my nice ass shoes. Oh. I need something. A key, perhaps? Yes! In I go. Here is a tab. This one is less damaged. Black Edelweiss. Nin 1896. Excellent. We now know the source of these illicit goods. Watson, we shall now return to Baker Street. There is much to be done. Or is there? I want to... This is a tiny room for having stored a buttload of boxes. All right, so I guess it's back to Baker Street. I'm gonna go to the map. Go to Baker Street. Oh boy! Have we received any word from Mycroft? It seems to me there is a letter on the table for you. Perhaps it is from Mycroft. Sherlock, the Northwood Agency is based in Boston, Massachusetts, which we already read. They engage in a wide variety of confidential investigations, but generally they are regarded as specialists in international searches for missing people or works of art. Uh, they have a solid reputation built upon an outstanding record of successful results. Amos Colby was employed in Europe as one of their operatives, and he corresponds to the description you gave. Unfortunately, the details of his last case were confidential. As for now, I have included an approximate translation of the characters that you discovered, though it is rough and, I must admit, rather enigmatic. Sincerely yours, Mycroft. And, okay. That your grubs go through the ether, stars like maggot in the fruit. Wait for your awakening to honor you, light of abyss. He is the one that you chose to show us the beauty of deep blackness, light of abyss. He is the one who carries your mark on the body. He became one of yours, light of abyss, for his call depths, for his call depths answer, and we shall answer in your name, light of abyss. His body is seaweed. His body is octopus. His voice is your voice. Let the dream and let the dream and the return of the great be fulfilled. I see. So, the poor devil who lay under this warehouse was indeed the owner of the passport embellished with the drawing made in blood. His thumb was gashed. He is most assuredly the one who made the drawing during his captivity. But what brought him to this place? Furthermore, if this detective agency has any standing, it rests on the reputation of its associates. They are rightly regarded as proven professionals. Therefore, this dying man's last efforts were to leave clues for those who might come after him. Remember, Watson, this man's forefinger was also coated with dust, and we found drawing drawn in that very same dust upon the floor. 
exactly Holmes. An addition symbol was there, placed within a rectangle. Let us consider the facts, Watson. A number of people were taken by force underneath Warehouse 12, drugged, and then transferred in boxes by ship to some as of yet unknown destination. Mm -hmm. For the moment, London has nothing more to tell us. These people, whoever they are, have a small advantage. We should give them no more. We must make our departure, but to what destination? Wait, Watson! I have a sudden thought. What do an Edelweiss and a rectangle containing an addition symbol signify to you? Well, clearly they're symbols of the place those people were taken, but I have no idea where that is. Oh, lord. Um. Boston. Your intentions are good, my dear Watson. Shit. But you have missed everything of importance. But I thought for sure that was it. Well, crap. Um. Uh. uh fuck. Uh, the um. Oh shit. Let me go through my documents and stuff and see if I can find it. So I will be right back. Right back. Is it Scandinavia? Your intentions are good, my dear Fuck. Watson, but you have missed everything of importance. Er, is it a uh, poop -a dibble? Your intentions are good, my dear Watson, but you have missed everything of importance. Is it up your butt and around the corner? Your intentions are good, my dear Watson, but you have missed everything of importance. But I got up your button around the corner. Uh, is it, um... Fuck. Is it crack cocaine? Your intentions are good, my dear Watson, but you have missed everything of importance. Thought for sure that was it. I'll be right back. Got it! Ah, thank God for Google. It's Switzerland. Whoops. Switzerland. Yes. Of course. Watson, I totally knew that. All by myself. I, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Of Mr. Colby's death, as this affair requires the utmost in tact and discretion. Well, I never. Thank you. I am sure. Watson, you know I'm impersonal. Each man to his specialty. I rely on you to book passage for two to the continent immediately. And, Watson, see what you can learn of an institute called the Black Edelweiss and determine if it is located in Switzerland. If this place can be found, I believe it holds the answers that we seek. Now, hurry, man. The game is on. What? No, it's the game is a foot. The game is afoot. Hold on, Holmes. You are reading some penny dreadful. Here I thought to find you deep in some ancient news clippings, seeking similarities with our case, and yet you waste your time reading some outlandish adventure based upon some improbable hero. Ha! Get the it. The of considering popular literature as unworthy of our interest, Watson. Besides, am I not myself considered by some of your readers as an improbable hero living out outlandish adventures? Yes. Oh, Holmes, you go too far. Let's not speak on this, Watson. Huh? This horrible statuette gives my nerves a shake, Holmes. This trip to Switzerland, it brings back unpleasant associations, doesn't it? Watson, those events should remain where they belong, in the past. However, I will not be joining you in Switzerland. When the train arrives in Lyon, I'm afraid we must part company, as I have business elsewhere that will take some time. But Holmes... As a doctor, your impeccable credentials will allow you to ably advance our investigation at the Black Edelweiss Institute. My presence would likely only arouse suspicion and harm our cause. I am writing the name of a Swiss policeman on this piece of paper. He is stationed at the village near the institute and is a most reliable and capable man. Turn to him should you entertain even the slightest suspicions during your visit. And you, Holmes? As for me, Watson, I will investigate this case from the other side. 
Oh, that sounds promising. Hmm. I wonder what side that's gonna be. Ooh, spooky, scary skeletons. Switzerland Institute, Black Edelweiss. 11th of September, 1894. That was my Keep chair. Keep your wits about you, Watson. Should you witness anything out of the ordinary, no matter how trifling it seems, go immediately to the valley and ask for Superintendent Bilger. I know him. He's a trustworthy fellow and has been informed of your presence in his district. He should prove to be an able ally. Everything is so gray. Clip clop, clip clop, clip clop, clip clop. I'm a horsey and I'm trotting. And I'm going to the spooky castle. Spooky castle. I got nothing. <laughs> My brain no wants to work today. Oh shut up, phone. Here now, this is hardly reassuring. Coachman, wait for me here. I'm Watson! I have no interest in going there. I have every interest in going over there. I, have I mean, no look at that. In going there. Look at that huge, beautiful, grey landscape. I, I just want to see all the different shades of grey there are. Not to be conf confused with uh, the novel. Anyway. I think that's enough for this episode, so I'm going to save, and I will catch you guys in the next episode, which should be promising, considering we're going where mad people live. There's a flower above the door. Anyway, alright, bye guys, bye!